guys and welcome to my weekly pregnancy update. I'm so excited that we are now 14 weeks pregnant and our little baby is as big as a lemon. You know, all the other weeks I'm like, it's so tiny, it's so weird, but this is getting very real. This lemon's pretty big for being in my belly. Just thinking about something this big being in there floating around is pretty crazy and really exciting. The biggest difference that I've noticed about 14 weeks is that I started my second trimester and usually your second trimester is when you start feeling really good, you're kind of over the morning sickness and you're not to the point where like you're big and uncomfortable. So it's kind of the time to really enjoy your pregnancy and that's how I am. I have noticed the biggest difference even just in the last week. All of my morning sickness is gone and I have so much more energy. Before, every time I sat down, I would just feel like I needed to take a nap. And seriously, I think I have cleaned more in the last week than I had in the last two months because I felt so tired and groggy and just yucky all the time. So I'm so excited to start feeling better and have more energy and feel like I can get some stuff done and be me again. Um, also getting over the morning sickness, being able to feel like I can eat more food again, like stuff isn't making me sick like it used to, and I'm up for cooking, that's not making me as sick as it used to, and so I'm feeling so much better. And those of you who are in your second trimester, I'm sure that you agree that it's a really nice time during your pregnancy. The topic that I wanted to cover today is what foods to not eat when you are pregnant. Did you guys know that there's things that you shouldn't eat? Your um, immune system is, also, is often lowered and not as strong when you're pregnant. So you have to be a little bit more careful. Bacteria and things that are found in food normally sometimes can affect you more when you're pregnant. And also your sweet little baby who isn't fully developed yet, they have a very low immune system and so you have to be careful about bacteria and things that you're putting into your body with them. The first thing that we're gonna talk about is big fish. Unfortunately, big fish in the water, sometimes there's a lot of pollutants and things, um, especially there can be high amounts of mercury, especially in large fish, which are fish that I don't normally eat, like shark and swordfish and tilefish, things like that, that I don't really eat anyways, but you have to be careful with tuna fish also. They say be careful with to only eat it once a week. Um, and they say, you know, it has a very small amount, so if you only eat it once a week, then you'll be okay because you get a lot of good things from fish, so you kind of have to weigh, okay, it's good for me, I should eat a little bit of it, but just don't eat it every day, right? And then also on the other topic of fish is we have sushi, which is uncooked fish. So you definitely wanna avoid that. There's just bacteria and things that grow on things that aren't cooked, that don't get killed, that you don't know how they're going to affect your body. When you're pregnant, something that you usually find when you're not pregnant might really affect you when you are pregnant or it could hurt you. And that goes for pretty much any meat is to make sure that you cook it. So if, you're, if you have to go to sushi and you guys love sushi, then feel free to have a California roll or a shrimp tempura roll or something like that if you really love the flavors of sushi, which I do. Also on my cooking channel, Dex Delicacies, I have an awesome recipe for a sushi bowl where everything's cooked but it has all the flavors of sushi if you're really craving sushi but want to prepare something at home that's cooked. When you go out to eat or you cook at home, make sure you're cooking your beef. I know beef is something that we like to eat undercooked and still red and tender, but for the next nine months of your pregnancy, make sure that you're cooking all of your meats all the way. And um, eggs also, I love runny eggs, like sunny side up, dip my toast in it, and so it's really hard for me right now to like cook that egg until it's rock hard, but that's really what it needs to be for pregnancy. Something else that with meat that is hard is deli meats, hot dogs, pâtés, things like that that sometimes you take out of the fridge and you just make a sandwich or spread it on and you don't cook it. Even though those things were at once cooked or they've been cured and things, sitting for that long, they can start to develop bacteria, especially if they've been open and sitting in your fridge for a week or so. And So please make sure if you're going to eat those things that you can cook them all the way. If you're gonna to go to Subway, make sure that you get your sandwich toasted so that you know that the meat's been heated through to kill all that bacteria. And just pretty much with every food, make sure that you're cooking it all the way to kill anything that might be on it. Okay, the next thing is vegetables. You wanna make sure that you're washing all of your vegetables. 
not only is, if you're not buying organic or even if you're buying organic there are certain pesticides and things that are on there that you want to wash off you might even want to consider peeling your fruits and vegetables just to make sure that you're getting all of that off and then also there's bacteria that grows in the soil where your fruits and vegetables come from that can also have an effect on your body sometimes when you're pregnant so just be careful to wash everything I know raw vegetables right now my stomach is having a hard time digesting them so I'm pretty much cooking most of my vegetables at this point so getting rid of all of whatever bacteria there could be on those also something to be really be careful with is sprouts I love bean sprouts alfalfa sprouts radish sprouts all those things are one of my favorite foods but because the environment that they grow those in is like a very warm moist climate and so that is the perfect breeding ground for bacteria so you want to be really careful um, to cook those sprouts if you're going to eat them I love mung beans and so I can throw them in my stir fry or I can just cook it with my pad thai or something if I want to have those. Just make sure that those are cooked really well. Another thing that you want to avoid while you're pregnant is soft cheeses or any dairy product that is made with unpasteurized milk because pasteurizing heats up the milk, it kills all the bacteria and sometimes that milk or whatever has been sitting in our fridge for a long time and it can start to develop bacteria very quickly. Cheese is also another perfect place where that bacteria can grow. A lot of times cheese has been sitting for a long time. So cheeses like brie and feta, two of my very favorite cheeses of course, are things that you do not want to eat while you're pregnant. They're soft cheeses, they have more moisture, that means that they grow more bacteria and they're made with unpasteurized cheese. So try to stay away from <clears throat> those cheeses while you're pregnant and anything made with unpasteurized milk. The other thing I want to talk about is caffeine and alcohol. Obviously alcohol is a big no-no. During pregnancy, I don't drink alcohol even when I'm not pregnant, but make sure you avoid that. It's linked to lots of birth defects. Also, make sure that you're limiting your caffeine use. I don't normally drink a lot of caffeine. I actually really sometimes crave soda though during when I'm pregnant because I like that sugar because I feel so tired. and so. Have an uncaffeinated soda. <clears throat> they say a little bit of soda is okay a day, like have one a day or if you need coffee or something. You don't have to go completely off it, but just be careful having that all the time because it is a stimulant and you don't know how that's going to affect your sweet little baby. So those are my tips on foods to avoid while pregnant. I hope this helped you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope some of you out there are pregnant. If you are, please leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And we will see you guys next week for my 15-week update. Bye, guys. Bye.